What's going on, everybody? This is Dave from This Is Pop Punk Promotions. I'm here with No Hard Feelings from Southern California. How's it going, guys? What up? Um, what up, Dave? <laughs> really appreciate you guys coming on. Let's uh, dive right into it. So when and how did you guys form? Well, we all met on uh, Craigslist. We, we were looking in the men seeking men section. And uh, <laughs> no, we, were, uh, we were all looking for your bandmates and stuff. And uh, Connor and I met a, a while ago. And uh, we had we had uh, been looking for a drummer. And we found Corey on Craigslist. He came out all the way from Boston, too. Not for us, but he was out here from Boston. Yeah. That's so, sick. Yeah. That explains the uh, Red Sox hat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, if I had to pick an AL team, it would be the uh, Red Sox. Oh, oh, boy. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, screw the Yankees, right? Screw the Yankees. Exactly. That's exactly it. I'm a Braves fan. So, you know, the Braves and the Red Sox aren't rivals, and, and the Red Sox are in the uh, American League, so I can root for them. Were you, a, were you a little sad about Freddie Freeman getting traded? No, because of Matt Olson. <laughs> uh, there you <laughs> go. Like okay. we, uh, we let him go. We brought in Matt Olson, who's younger, and I, who I think is just as good. So it's, a, you know, all good for me. I mean, if Freddie wants to be a Dodger, that's on him. <laughs> He's got to live with that. Exactly. <laughs> We're Padres fans. That's, really That's how I feel exactly. <laughs> Go Padres. We're Padres fans, so screw the Dodgers. Yes, that's something we yeah. could all uh, unite on. <laughs> right. Exactly. We'll come together on screw the Dodgers. <laughs> Braves in six. There you go. <laughs> so you guys released Tragedy in January. How's the response been? Uh, pretty good. Uh, we put out a music video for it, so that definitely helped it out quite a bit. Um, the, the uh, what's it called? The guy that we've been mixing and mastering with, we actually record at home and then we send it off to a guy that we met in Indonesia <laughs> all the way out there. So I love, gotta love the internet. And um, he mixes and masters it for us. Uh, he, his, his name is uh, Jeffrey with Red Shores Studio. Really good studio. And yeah, um, and then they just send it back. And it's, I mean, it, it was amazing because he actually posted it on his site and he's got quite a bit of a following. And that helped out a little bit too. So that was really nice. That's awesome. So how was the uh, process? Well, it's nice. Well, now that we've done the recording, we've done it at studios multiple times and we kind of built this home studio a little bit and we've been doing that. Um, we've got Logic Pro, we've been running that. And we just, it's nice to record at home because you have a lot more time to work on everything. You're not spending so much on the recording process as you can on the mixing and mastering, which is mostly the magic anyway um and yeah i mean a lot less stressful for sure yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's always good so you guys are from southern california how's the alternative music music scene there do you guys have a favorite local band a favorite venue um, <laughs> local bands i'm uh, i'm uh well like our so like we have different like favorite bands in like different areas like san diego uh sleep it off as those are our boys in San Diego. They're awesome. Ready, set, survive. Those are our good friends down there too. Uh, what's it called up here? Like, like hometown. We like, we like our, uh, like our friends, rare sense. They're pretty dope. They're really fun. Uh, they definitely put on a hell of a show <laughs> and LA we've been, we've been messing with a couple other bands, like, um, uh, what's it called? We're, I mean, we just met up with cultivate. They're really cool guys. And we're going to be playing that show in Corona with them, uh, here in two weeks on April 1st. So that'll be fun. Venue wise, yeah, venue wise. I mean, there's <laughs> venues are tough out here. I will say it's not like out there where the scenes, you know, I don't know. San Diego, it's awesome down there. Um, Soma, yeah, like they got a soda bar is awesome. Uh, I mean, Soma, the holding company, oh, yeah, Soma's awesome. I mean, yeah, so <laughs> chain reaction. I mean, Anaheim's cool, chain reaction's cool. Uh, it's just in Temecula so much there's not so much like lately we were actually like we we're digging deep for shows we were going out to like um, breweries but they actually had a meadery out here and we played I don't know if you're in a mead before it's like a honey wine and we played that and stuff and we we're just looking anywhere we could play a show you know felt like we we're in high school again just digging <laughs> anywhere so <laughs> that's what's up that's what it's all about yeah so who are your biggest influences who we got up here? I know, right? I know. He's wearing it. I mean, one of them. Uh, probably the story so far is a big one. Four years strong. Who we got? He's he's a big simple plan guy. Neck deep. State <laughs> champs. Punk, yeah. Yeah. Gotta love state champs. I'm a I'm a metalcore guy, so as like counterparts, even though we don't really have anything to do with like that 
genre that's kind of like where my drumming comes from it's just like heavier um i've been a lot of like metal like really really heavy metal chord bands back in the day and um so that's kind of my background that's sick so if you guys could tour with any of those bands which one or you're strong bro. or you're strong yeah, yeah, yeah those, those guys are phenomenal yeah. I, I'll say i love state chance more but for you're strong is they're it's closer to genre i think honestly i think they'd be pretty close to us but, any of those would be awesome yeah, I mean, yeah exactly <laughs> that's yeah damn straight <laughs> so now i'm going to ask you guys some non-music questions it's a good way for me to get to know you i did this with the other bands i interviewed are you ready yeah, all right yeah sounds good our first one favorite video game easy day let's say i got my zelda, zelda tattoo right here <laughs> say i'm a zelda fan uh yeah, Zelda. Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk, number one, or uh, Pokemon. I'm in, I'm a big Pokemon guy. So he's oh my guy right there, Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Pokemon are the two greatest games <laughs> of all time. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Nothing against Zelda. Oh, hey, 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 it's all good. I'll say. <laughs> uh, I'd say probably Red Dead Two as far as like recent games. Uh, that's that's a pretty crazy game as far as like how in depth they went in making that, but. So what was your favorite subject in school? <laughs> uh, <laughs> recess. No. Uh, man, I was pretty good at math, so that was a, that was an easy one for me. I liked it. Wow. <laughs> a lot of people hate it. <laughs> I'm one of those people. <laughs> yeah, it just came easy to me, so. <laughs> so now, I don't, dude, I did not like school. <laughs> I was not good at school. Uh, Probably history, honestly. That was like the most entertaining, I think. Yeah, I would have said the same thing. Yeah, history. Like history. At least it was somewhat entertaining. <laughs> yeah, I definitely feel you guys on that one. So if you guys would go back in time and talk to one world leader or president of influence, who would it be? <laughs> Get real <laughs> deep, I know, all right. <laughs> and a dead musician counts as a person of influence. Okay. Musician? Oof. He's already um, thinking Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, I, Jimmy, I already know it. <laughs> yeah, he's one of the greatest guitarists of all time for sure. Jimmy. Um, uh, I got it. The, the first I, JFK, I think. World leader, yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Just to you know, chop it up with him. I don't know. I think that'd be kind of cool. Be a cool person to talk to. Me. I don't know. Dead musician. <laughs> yeah, I guess a dead musician. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm on the spot now. I, I don't know. I'm going to pass on this. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm taking too long. Okay, I don't know. Um, I'd, I'd like to meet... Well, Elvis would be sweet. I thought... I don't know. I think That'd Elvis be would be really cool. Like, <laughs> cool rock and roll. I like it. Yeah, yeah. I'll say. <laughs> so if you guys had a million dollars and you could donate to any charity, which one? Hmm. As, I don't know. I mean, a Red Cross. I, I, are they there like a charity or I would donate to the maybe the Red Cross? I always like St. Jude's. Like that was always been a good one. Yeah. Anything with like oh, kids. Yeah. Yeah, That's yeah, probably a good cancer. one. Yeah. I mean, I can't, can't, cancer <laughs> sucks. Like, fuck cancer. Can't yeah, think I mean, of many off the top of my head, but yeah, St. Jude's probably, I would go with that one too. So if you guys were stranded on a desert island, what three items would you want to have with you? <laughs> uh, yeah, we're stuck. <laughs> a nine, Might as well enjoy it. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. bring, in, bring an acoustic. A cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the TV. So. No, real talk. I don't know. Knife. What? Knife. Fire starter. Rope, I like it. Those three sound solid. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Let's be realistic here, yeah. right? Like, I can survive. Yeah. yeah, fishing line or rope. Pole, yeah, yeah, fishing line or rope. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> All right, guys. Last question: What are some places in Southern California that visitors should check out? Mm. Disneyland is always fun. It's just super crowded, but that's always cool. Um, Padres games, baby. Petco Park. <laughs> Gotta love San Diego. San Diego's great. The yeah. Zoo, Sea World, any of the beaches. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can't be the beaches out oh, here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's nice. Uh, so you got the Jersey Shore out there, huh? Yeah. Yep. So I was born and raised in uh, New Jersey. 
Uh, oh, right. I'm not sure if you guys uh, knew that, but uh, yeah, North Jersey, an hour from uh, New York City. So I'll, the closest beach was like an hour and a half. So growing up, I went to the beach all the time. And um, I usually went to Ocean City, New Jersey, and I went to Bayhead and Belmar. And I mean, not trying to uh, brag or anything, but Jersey's got some of the best beaches in the country, I think. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I, my sister lives in Jersey, and I still have yet to go out to the beach. I need to go check it out. But uh, Dude, yeah. you know, let me know when you come out here and we can hit it up. I know. I, I, I can't believe we missed each other by one week last oh, time. Oh, we were so <laughs> close. I know. <laughs> so when I was there, I, um, from the way that you uh, worded it, it, um, it made me think that you were there at the same time as me. And I was like, oh, sweet. Like, you know, we can uh, meet up on the way back to Pennsylvania and go get a beer and then uh, go from there. But I'm totally down, man. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't meant to be. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but next time, yeah, next time, let me know yeah. when you're going to be out there and we'll, uh, we'll make it happen. Absolutely. That's something we'll talk to you a little bit more of, but we'd love to get a summer tour going out towards the East coast, maybe this summer. So maybe we'll let's talk make it happen, man. I mean, I know <laughs> venues around here. I know uh, people that put on shows here. Um, there's a, uh, there's a venue right next door to uh, um, the town that I live in. You know, shout out to the church, Reese and Jesse. They're awesome people. They have the same vision as me. They're all about helping up and coming bands, get their name out there, get their music out there um so yeah hit me up and then i'll send you in uh, their direction and we could all work together to uh to put a show on yeah that'd be sweet awesome. thank you well yeah, i really appreciate you guys coming on and chatting up a little bit and the support really does mean the world to me oh yeah man i'll say hit us up when you're coming out to california too we'll definitely kick it show you i'm that. actually going to be out there this summer are you really oh, yeah no, no the definitely. plan is to hit up a few ballparks because like i said like we were talking about uh earlier i'm a big baseball guy my goal is to go to every single one of them um okay. i think i'm at 13 right now so like, i've got some work to do so the plan is this summer is to hit up uh, padres diamondbacks maybe the dodgers and the angels as well so i mean i'm gonna be in your area so i'm, I'm just saying like oh, dude, yeah. <laughs> make we'll it happen we'll, yeah we'll definitely be hanging out always sure. down for a ball game Heck yeah. <laughs> yes yep ball games and uh, beer are the best right <laughs> and i have to hit up the beaches there just because i've heard uh, a lot of good things about the beaches there Oh, yeah, man. Maybe catch some waves and uh, skate there because that's on my bucket list. Surfing is – the surfing is pretty awesome out here, too. I would say if you surf at all, that's definitely worth it. I'm trying to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> right? I tried it once when I was 10, and uh, it ended really bad. But it looks so much fun that I want to try it again. Yeah, it's great. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun once you stand up and you're up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the skate parks there, I heard, are absolutely amazing there. I really want to hit those up. There's a, there's a shit. They're time. everywhere. Yeah, was, yeah, they're, <laughs> all, they're all perfect. <laughs> it's heaven. You know, California is heaven for, uh, for skaters. Yeah. Well, I, like I said, I really appreciate you guys coming on. Um, support means the world to me. Where, so for the people that are going to watch this later, where can they find your music at? Uh, we're on all streaming platforms. Um, you can go to our profile on Instagram or Facebook. Uh, our link tree is right there, and, but it's, yeah, you can find us on Spotify, Apple Music as well, No Hard Feelings. Um, on our Instagram handle and Facebook handle is No Hard Feelings California, C or CA, yeah, <laughs> No Hard Feelings CA, <laughs> and yeah, and then uh, we're playing a show April 1st, if anyone's checking this out in SoCal, Corona, Corona. be there. Go to the show, don't yeah. be a uh, jerk. <laughs> I know, <right? laughs> It's free. <laughs> yeah. We're playing with our boys, Sleep It Off, though, from San Diego. Um, what's it called? Cultivate from L.A. And then Chalk It Up. It's another hometown band from our area, from our neck of the woods that, uh, uh, what's it called? They're, this is going to be actually their very first show. So they're stoked to be uh, part That's of it. That's awesome. So, yeah. Well, hope you guys have a, uh, a great night, and we'll chat soon. Heck yeah. yeah. All right, Dave. Sounds good, man. Good See you later. You. All right, bye. Thank you, bro.